principle of systems performance improvement. Question number five, the Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Canterbury Earthquake Recovery and asks, did he discuss with the Christchurch City Mayor reported claims that there had been overtures from within the Treasury that there was scope for the city's rates to be increased or for assets to be sold to pay for the quake recovery and that this could be done under the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Act before he called him a clown. If not, why not? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, no. Uh, the Honourable Leanne Delzell. Has he been briefed about what the Treasury official said to the Mayor? And if not, why did he describe the Mayor's quoted statements as an outrageous abdication of his responsibilities and call him a clown when he doesn't know what was said? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, in the days leading up to that uh, particular Ill injudicious comment from me, there were numerous uh, discussions going on with the Council uh, between the senior executives, the Mayor, myself and the senior executives of Sarah over a number of issues that we want the Council to take some, uh, some responsibility alongside us for. Mr Speaker, um, while Treasury officials will have talked to the Council, I'm un unaware of exactly what that discussion would have been about. But let me tell you, when the Government is spending $5.5 billion anywhere, we expect the recipients of that to have some uh, plan for how they will participate in what will be a very, very expensive recovery. And that plan has to be a lot better than we're just going to put up the rates and we're going to borrow a lot more money. The Honourable Leanne Dalzell. When he told the media that Section 48, Clause 3 of the SERA legislation said the Minister, quote, must not direct any council to a set a rate under, the section, under section 23 of the Local Government Rating Act 2002, was he acknowledging that the Act could be used to force the council and its holding company to sell all or any of its assets and um, explaining why the government voted against our amendment to the legislation when it was going through the House? The no. Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, no, and any analysis that would suggest that's possible is extremely bodgy. <laughs> the Honourable Leanne Delzell. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Can he give a guarantee that the government will not require Christchurch City to sell any of its assets to help pay for the recovery? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, I can't, be I can't bind the Christchurch City Council to what they may decide to do. Mr Speaker? My question was point of, very point of order, the Honourable Leanne Delson. Mr. Speaker, my question was very clear, which was that the government would not require Christchurch City. So it was a question of whether the government would not require, and he hasn't dealt I with that question. Except that was before. exactly what the member's question was. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr. Speaker, if uh, the member herself has pointed out that uh, capacity for that doesn't exist under the Sarah Act, uh, and therefore it would have to be a decision by the Christchurch City Council. Order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Leanne Delsell. The, the question was, can he give a guarantee oh, no. that the government will order, not require... No, I think, order, on this occasion, I think the Minister did answer, because in his answer he claimed that the legislation doesn't give the government power to do that, so he's basically saying no. The, the Honourable Leanne Delsell, supplementary question. Can he give a guarantee, as Minister for Earthquake Recovery, that neither he nor any member of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Cabinet Committee, which he chairs, has sought or is seeking any external advice on Christchurch's assets to assess the potential for their sale to help pay for the recovery. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, speaking to the very specifics of that question, um, we have asked Treasury, obviously, to give us advice about what the capacity is for Christchurch's rating base to take on some of the extraordinary expense they have to face in the future. The list is long. A convention centre, a town hall, a new stadium, uh, Centennial Pool in the centre of the city, QE2 complex, the central city library, uh, parking buildings throughout the city and many service centres that are all destroyed before you even start talking about some of the uh, parks and other recreational facilities that the council has. It is a billion dollar plus bill that they have to face and we are very interested, given that we're putting up 5.5 billion, as, as to how they might meet that cost. Question number six, Jackie Dean. 